Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I don't know if you saw in my last video uh, where I was um, looking at the spring loaded squirrel proof feeders, I made some um, uh, seed feeders from a mix uh, that I saw on the internet, uh, pine cone seed feeders and um, a little sort of cup feeder thing. Um, so I was going to show you the mix first of all and then I think in the next video I'm going to show you actually how to make it. So the mix is just keep the ratios the same and you'll be okay. So two cups worth of seed go into a bowl, uh, regular sort of mixed seed, uh, and then you want a third of a cup of flour, so just put that in there like that. Uh, then you want a teaspoon's worth of gelatin, this helps to bind it all together. So as you can see I have amazing culinary skills, my wife will testify to that with a bit more good luck. And um, a, uh, a quarter of a cup of water. So we put that in there like that. And I was thinking, for good measure, put a few raisins in. I don't see any reason why we can't do that. So a handful of raisins, just to put those in there. Okay. So then we give it a jolly good mix. This is really where we could do with some music overlaying the video because this will be the boring part. Squish, squish, squish. My son is looking on with amazement. It's the first time he's seen Daddy actually mixing up something and it's not even human food. <laughs> okay, so we mix it all up like that. And there you go, you've got your goopy mix. So it was as easy as that. Uh, household things just lying around the cupboard bit of seed, uh, a bit of flour, water, and some gelatin, and that makes a real sort of goopy, gooey mix. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to actually put them onto the feeders, uh, and I've made a driftwood feeder, which I'm gonna have a, have a look at later as well. Okay, catch you later.